Hello folks, Sam Owens here with a product that uh, is designed to measure electromagnetic fields. That's the magnetism uh, that's generated from devices and uh, everything. Uh, even the earth has a uh, electromagnetic field. And uh, this is the device that it will help measure and uh, detect when you're uh, in an area that is producing above normal uh, EMF uh, and other measurements. There's actually three measurements that it does. And uh, uh, I myself am not familiar with all of the measurements. I am just uh, going to introduce the, uh, the device and show you how it works and do some testing and this will give you an idea of just what an EMF meter uh, does. Uh, you get a user manual which uh, goes through in a number of pages in different languages to explain the meter, uh, the different settings, and the operation of it. And then you can uh, de determine if uh, you want to try and find the sources and eliminate them or move to another area. Now you get a charging cable. This must be charged. And on the bottom uh, you have a port here and we'll just show the charging of this. And you just get you a charger. It doesn't come with one. The wall adapter. And you put that in. And then you just plug this in. And right there, uh, the charging is the lines will move up in a progressive order, and that means that it's charging. When they're all steady and all of the lights are on, there's like four of them, uh, that means it's fully charged. Now, when I plug that in, it automatically turned it on. To turn this off, I push and hold and now it goes off. Now to turn it on you press this is a hold button also an on and off and a hold in case you want to uh, you get a reading a high reading or something you can press the hold button and it'll freeze that reading that you can record it or show it to someone else. Okay now just a momentary click will turn it on and it checks itself to make sure everything is right and then this is the readings you got the meter uh, the uh, battery symbol and this is not a touch screen you've got average uh, reading here on the uh, the the electromagnetic field is V slash M and then down here is UT but you have a button here that will uh, give you the units right here Push this and it'll go to MG. Push it again and it goes to UT. You also have a temperature. It monitors the temperature in the area R. And right there is F is Fahrenheit, 69.4 degrees Fahrenheit. If you want to change it to centigrade, you just take the unit button and push and hold. And there it went to centigrade. That's 20.8 centigrade. Go back to uh, uh, Fahrenheit, push and hold, which is what I want. Now right now, there's just a little bit of electromagnetic field shown. And this is the sensor right here. It's pointing up. And there's nothing up there. But watch, when I move it down, you see the it's going up. And I notice it'll get to the point where it's reading there, 40, 45 right there. So it's reading those meters and stuff which have electromagnetic stuff in them, I'm sure. But you can see there's a reading. Now, I notice when I'm getting a reading, if I put my hand in front of it, I can block it, everything. So you take it away and it'll go up and it'll go away so you can block it with your hand or anything in front of it let's see if this will do it 
here and then take it away okay now let's go along and now let's look at the uh, grinder down here this is interesting there's the grinder and I'm pointing it at it and uh, it's up to 68 and it's not plugged in I have run it a little bit but there it is at 136 175 right there and it's not even turned on now I'm going to, now I'm gonna put my hand in front of it and look at there zero so it's reading but it does not go through anything so if there's something past it uh, or your hand is blocking it it's not going to read it so you do have a field coming out of this grinder it looks like uh, not even plugged in. Now let's plug it in and see what we get. Okay. Now I'm going to turn it on and we'll see. Now right there. Okay. 78. It's moving around. I'm going to turn it on. Now the UT went way up to 25 right there with a warning and we're up to 40 on the, the motor itself. Turn it off and the UT goes down and it's showing going down into the blue. Blue means everything is okay. So there is one check. Now we know that a motor like that is going to create an electromagnetic field. but we want to look at a device like our computer let's go over to where i have my computer stored on a, um, a table as you see i don't have anything going on nothing's in the way i'm going to point it down now we're going to measure the computer look at there it went up to about four and it's turned on now this is my cell phone Okay, now let's point it at my cell phone. And nothing. So that's good. And now this is a charging device. Now, if you'll notice, without any activity, uh, the unit will go off uh, after five minutes. So you just simply push on it and it will reactivate. And now I'm going to check this is a charging unit and see if it has anything nope now all of these devices when they were on the uh, workbench I was reading those other uh, readings like 48 and 49 on the EMT which was an alarm uh, making it uh, uh, impossible to know if this was causing the problem or something on the bench so that's why I say you might have to move to another location to see something proper. Okay, now here's a, a fan, a little portable battery operated fan. Nothing's happening, I'm gonna turn it on. And look at there. You're getting a UT alarm down here. The, the EMF is okay at two, but you got 2.49 of the UT and it's giving a warning right there. Now I'm going to freeze that, hold it, and there's the hold. So now it got up to 3.64, which said warning. And this is okay, but that's coming out of the fan. And uh, also you've got, a, you've got an audible sound, and you can turn that off by turning this off. There's the uh, indicator that that's on so you just sit and hold it and there the audible sound is off okay let's try one other fan I'll take the hold off by pushing it one time and now we're off coming back okay I'm gonna turn it off and it should relieve the warning symbol yes okay we're gonna turn this fan on and see how it does 
Oh look, this is giving us an EMF alarm up here, but the UT is okay. That's, that's the difference. Okay, I put it on hold. Now see, the UT is 0.14, which is within limits. Uh, there's a range, and this is still good, but this is not good. Warning sign. Okay, just a little bit of test. There we go. And out here, no problem. Now, uh, let's see. Let's walk around outside. We're going outside and see the... Oh, look at that. As soon as I stepped out here, it started giving an alarm. Now let's go over this way. And it goes away. Now we're going to go back toward the house. And I've already been out and tried this. Uh, let's see. There, maybe you can see. One, two. It's going up, up, up. 28, 31, 40. There. There's the source. My Christmas lights and that palm tree. There's the sensors up there or the controllers. And they're ge generating 120, 116 uh, EMF uh, field. Okay, that's interesting. Now, when I go away, see? It relieves it. And I'm in the blue all the way. Now, let's go into the garage and just see what else. This is clear all around now there's the fan i'm going by the fan fan is right there okay now we're going to walk over toward the bench again okay now as soon as i walk over this way you see it starts going up and it's obvious with all the stuff that i've got and in the cabinets and electronic equipment on top let's see but it looks like the lights are creating the problem. Right there. There. I think it's the fluorescent lights and the ballast that's generating a, a high feel. So those are things you can look at. Folks, uh, I hope this is uh, giving you a, a, a look at the product to see just how it operates and how you can measure the EMF uh, readings in your location that you work or live in just to see uh, if you can control it uh, or detect it. I want to thank you very much for watching my video.